Let's talk college football, shall we? Mm -hmm. The reorganization of the conferences. I find myself kind of excited without really knowing where this is headed. Where do you think it's going? I not only am I excited, I'll add on to that. I am nervous of this whole thing exploding again and everything shuffling around, the decks that are moving. Exploding so, in a good way? Yes, yes, because I like chaos. I think everybody does too. I think that's why everybody's sort of <laughs> pushing forward another sort of tournament for college football. I know the traditionalists want, we want our bowls. Nobody watches those bowls. So what if those bowls were sort of like, I don't know, maybe a quarterfinal two or semifinal two, the ultimate game, which I know they've done with these sort of four games. But I will say this, there is no place to be comfortable. Notre Dame doesn't know what to do. I would have stayed independent if I were them, but now they get to be a part of a network. So if they have a down year, they get to work that out. This is all about money and networks, how much you can spread around. I'm excited because I don't know what's going to happen. And there is no way to know if the SEC or the ACC or the Big Ten is going to be able to shock one of these big teams in the future. So I love it. it. I'm loving every second of this. First of all, <laughs> just make them two big conferences. Like, what's the point of not doing that? Break them off into divisions inside the conferences and let them play that way. But my favorite thing about this is the simultaneous hypocrisy of everybody involved because you have these college football coaches and chancellors and athletic directors saying you know we need to keep the sanctity of the game together and these are amateur kids and you know Dabo Sweeney who I love kicking around mm -hmm. right when if these kids get paid I'm out of here those same men and women while saying this is an amateur sport are elbowing and fighting and clawing to get into new conferences destroying the tradition that they're trying to uphold the amateur shot up it's about money it's been about money and you got no pants on now. The emperor has no clothes. So how do you argue the other way? I will add on the fact that I remember this was all about team spirit and education yep, yep, yep. and all the great things about college, which it still is. I kind of like it because I like the college kids going crazy on a Saturday, watching their games, you know, whatever they may do because they're young and they're having fun. And that brings the energy to college football. But this is a business. My favorite thing about this were the statements that USC and UCLA put out when they joined the Big 10 or 15 or 82 or whatever it's going to be, right? Right? where they had to talk about, well, you know, the high academic tradition. You're going to be sending kids across the country to play games. Not They're... just football games. The thing is, you're going to send them across the country to play volleyball. Yes, there's going to be field <laughs> hockey that is going across the country. That ain't making you money, and you're going to be sparing expense to take care of those kids. Do not ever tell me again that a kid on an athletic scholarship is there for education because you are lying. Because they, there'll be a lot of people saying, well, what about education? What yeah. about this? What about that? Yeah, but he said you can't anymore. And if Duffy says no. it, you can't do it anymore. When am I ever wrong about anything? <laughs> Every <laughs> single thing I say, you guys come back, you're right. There's only, 400 and and like. <laughs> there's only 499 episodes to prove it. <laughs>